Dover, one of Europe's busiest ports. More than four million trucks going through here and the Channel Tunnel last year alone, carrying billions of euros of goods. There are fears of gridlock on both sides of the water if Brexit brings a wave of new border checks. It's a nightmare scenario for Gary, the truck driver. He frequently heads across the channel, transporting car parts. I mean, we suffer with delays now over certain things, but I think it's probably going to be a lot harder as far as Brexit's concerned. And what we're going to do with the border crossings, I don't think any of it's been thought out very well or very clearly, to be honest with you. As Gary sets off for Calais in the company's control centre, the pro-Brexit boss is keeping track of his fleet of trucks across Europe. You're a company that crosses the channel around 10,000 times each year. Yeah. Are you still for this divorce? Of course I am, to ourselves. It's not going to make any difference at all. I'm pretty sure at the beginning it will be painful, maybe, but even a big question mark, but it'll be, we'll, it'll be beneficial later on. Meanwhile, Gary's arriving at the Channel Tunnel. I'd like to see us get a good deal, um, but then that remains to be seen, doesn't it, with Brussels and one thing or another. You know, I'd like to see us be able to stand on our own two feet and see what happens, but I think at the moment it's a bit, a, a bit of a roller coaster ride for everybody. Although the train crossing itself is just 35 minutes, it takes almost three hours to get through the UK terminal and into France in all. A long journey, which may get even longer after Brexit. Damon Embling, Euronews, Calais.